yet. I am making a thingy. I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be really laggy, like everything else I've ever done. So, welcome to Lag Vision. All lag, all the time. Absolutely fantastic. What we're going for is something shaped like this. So, this one's a little bit too big for this kind of a grip. So, the next one should be a little bit more, uh, a little more comfortable because this part should be all the way up here. So that's what we're going to work on, something like this one, or ah, this one. So I'm using a small piece of round bar, and probably the only thing I use my rounding hammer for. I'm going to forge the tip. Got the tip forged, so I'm going to figure out where I want my blade to start.
down that hill. So what that's going to do is pull down this section here for you. And one thing I didn't do with this one that I'll do on the next one is put it up against the edge of the anvil here. Up against it here, and then hitting on it like that while it's still soft, I mean still uh, flat right here, to knock that corner back in just a little bit sharper. listening to stuff so that kind of muffles my voice in my own ears so I don't know if I'm talking loud enough or too loud.
this whole section right here over the forge. So we're going to forge this, and then we're going to draw this part out a little bit. And then, once this is all out, once this is scrolled, uh, scrolled over, we're going to take that and then we're going to twist this. That's just going to be the plan of action for things. Yes, I do make most of my own tongs, with some with a few exceptions. Uh, these are tong blanks from Ken's Custom Ironworks. Uh, these are made by Matt Parkinson. Uh, so these are uh, these are actually my favorite blades for the tongs. I've made something similar to hold bigger stock, but these, these I mean, I took these to the show. My go to tongs. up now. Anything else we can cover with the grinder.
next one should be up here. It should start the curl right up in here so that it's a little closer to here, not all the way up here. So we take I know I do, but then, uh, uh, Matthew, if I played music, they would silence the whole thing. Facebook metrics are going to kill me if I'm playing Black Sabbath in here. Got this. We're going to take this. We're going to draw it out. I mean, there's no real reason why this couldn't be modified into a pyramid. That's just a matter of changing your blade and changing this to be a little bit more forward. Because a pyramid needs to fit comfortably. Essentially, you'd probably flatten this part out, lay it out wider, just lay it out a little bit wider, and get rid of this. So it's going to curl right back into itself so that you can hold it comfortably without this part in there. So, you know. Bye. I was teaching a class earlier today, so I'm, I'm a little, a little tired. 
we've still got a lot of stuff we need to catch up on. too much, uh, just enough to hold my own in a conversation, uh, but I am familiar with Karapits, um, I haven't really trained extensively with them, but I do like them. good Wi-Fi at, at the office, and I still get a ton of lag, um, but I have really bad connection out here in the country. Uh, Matthew, I do have a YouTube, I just don't post anything very much on it. I turn it into a bottle opener too. Uh, Becky, to be completely honest, I really don't know what people's fascination with the rapids are. Um, they are when you train in a martial art that uses it. I understand its effectiveness as a self-defense weapon, and as a defensive weapon, but other than that, I really don't see a purpose to it. I mean, I use one to cut open boxes, like a cheap one, but other than that, it's not a very utilitarian knife.
Okay, there we go.
talking about here. There we go. I just figured it hadn't been a, it's been a while since I did a live stream of me actually in the shot. So I wanted to make sure that and off. Alright, so just wanted to make sure I did another live stream. Sometimes I need to come around this side, because I haven't chamfered or uh, round up. The edges of all my anvil yet. So, all right, everyone. So this is what we have at the end of the project, the project here. So what we have, not exactly a mirror finish, a mirror, uh, mirror match, but it's pretty damn close considering I'm just going off of a mental template. Y'all leaving? Yeah. Are you gonna get on something? Yeah. Okay. Well, they just wanted to tell you bye. My nephew, my two, uh, one of my nephews, and my two of my sisters. Tell everyone bye. Wave to the camera. There's like a thousand people who follow this. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Love you. Love you too. Yeah, so is my family. It's funny. Some people think I'm a uh, think I'm an only child. All right, so, bam, uh, bam, blade is almost exactly the same size, and unfortunately, I'm in the exact same uh, place here, like I didn't want to be, but, you know, these, these, these are not fighting knives, you know, it's just good to have it right there when you're cleaning uh, or field dressing something, use it this way or whatever, but, yeah, there we go. Um, I'm going to clean this up. Actually, I'm going to normalize it, uh, grind it, probably heat treat it tonight so I can have, you know, a couple more of these ready to go. But that's it. I just wanted to do, I just wanted to do this one, uh, just to show you how the forging process went. Goodbye. Hey, oh, now you're being nice. That's my other nephew. You've been good. Bye. You've been mad dogging me all day and now he wants to be nice. Alrighty, alrighty, that's it. I am going to go inside, have some raspberry lemonade tea that I discovered at HEB. It's pretty damn awesome. Um, then I need to come back out here and finish grinding because I have two cleavers that are almost done. Uh, I think you know who you are. Uh, and th that knife for the Marine Scout Sniper that I've been working on, uh, I've just been waiting on parts for the sheath and everything because it's kind of, the sheath is outside of my wheelhouse of normal sheaths. So. Uh, that's what's been taking a while with that project. And uh, there's a few more custom orders that I need to work on. But other than that, I try to find time to do stuff like this in between everything else. Um, because I do craft shows and they need little things like this. Okay. I'm done for right now. Let me go take a break. See y'all later.